Hello everyone and welcome back to Finland with Hi Chieftain Otso the Third of Finland and I've been told that Otso apparently means bear which is awesome. Uh, thank you very much for all of the comments that you have been doing. The reason I've not thanked in the last two videos is because I book recorded the first three episodes of this series so it's the first chance I've had to thank you all for your awesome comments telling me a lot more about these peoples, the cultures, the religions and I really do appreciate it. I love finding out all this new information and now I like our guy even more of an awesome with a name that literally means that he's a bear. That's awesome. Goes nice with the sigil as well. Um, so yeah we have now taken most of Finland. We've got these two areas here, these two lands. Some of it unfortunately has been taken by uh, this kingdom here. Thankfully, the land that Sweden took away from this Finnish chief over here wasn't actually a part of the Finnish kingdom, so that's perfect. We're not going to have to go to war with Sweden anytime soon, thankfully. But I do think that we want to try and take these lands up here in northern Sweden as they are the same religion as us. So we probably will push out that way at some point. We can now create the Kingdom of Finland. So we're going to have to do some raiding and such. We need to earn the money to do so. And I think it was about, I don't think it was as much as in other playthroughs, thankfully. I think it's only, yeah, it's only 250 gold. So hopefully we can get a decent, about 100 or so gold while we're out raiding. If we're leading the raid ourselves, maybe we can get a little bit more. So fingers crossed there right so yeah we'll start the episode by raising our raiders and we'll go and do a little bit of raiding hopefully we won't get attacked while we're off the two kingdoms that are probably going to well duchies baronies that are going to attack wood attackers i don't think will i don't think they're going to have enough manpower to do so i'm not sure where would be the best place for us to raid we could sail down into Europe I suppose to do a little bit into Central Europe I'm not sure yet let's raise our raiders and then we'll assess the situation I was looking at our court the prisoner that we've got I quite like to the look of he's only a young 14 year old I think we'll recruit him when he does come of age and we can possibly land him he is a Finnish character he was in one of these lands originally he's of our court he's also got the comedy trait which is nice um, he's charming stubborn vengeful and just he's pretty decent not bad at all we can't educate him, unfortunately, because he's our prisoner. But when he comes of age, hopefully we can ransom him, um, recruit him as a way to release him and make good use of him. Right, so we get our raiders. Let's have a look at some of the provinces around. I'm guessing there's not going to be many that are worth a lot. Yeah, all of these have already been recently looted. So let's bring our other 151 raiders down to our main host. And while they do that, let's have a look what we've got. Literally everywhere seems to have been raided. We have got the Russian lands of um, Novgorod, uh, Novgorod, which we could probably go for. But yeah, everywhere is, looks like it's been raided like mad already. We may have to go over to Europe, um, over to like Western Europe, around England, Spain, France area to maybe actually be able to get some decent amount of gold. I am proud to see my daughter no longer as a child, but as an adult. With sufficient tutelage, even a child that has displayed little natural inclination towards a careful planning, such as philia, can come to truly understand its uses. Now it is harder to say, however, everything that is tasked of her is done by others before she gets to it. And she never tells um, petty lies the way she used to. Perhaps she was not as clever as I see, as it seemed after all. Um, okay, so the girl fast, so how is she turned out she's 16 okay wow wow 19 intrigue though is very impressive i do apologize if you can hear my dog barking i don't know what the hell it's doing um but she's become an elusive shadow which is very impressive she's a child of our concubine she's unfortunately already married which is a shame as she would have made an excellent spy master is this the estonian guy okay he's possessed liege is a foreign ruler of ah that lung to the north which we probably will try and take at some point we could always try and vassalize once his. She'd have been a very good elusive, uh, a very good spy master for us. So that's a shame. Never mind. Never mind. Right. So we'll get our raiders together, and then we've got to try and see where we can actually raid Prussia. No, em literally everywhere seems to have been completely raid. Ah, this here. We seem to have a little bit of gold here. Yes, perfect. This little bit, this little kingdom here. Hopefully, it should be easy enough for us to raid off them as well. At least we've managed to find somewhere that can raid. We do want to swap our commander out to... Ah, ourself is leading, I'm guessing, the other host. That's fine then. I say we can hopefully get the events then where we can get a little bit more gold. I don't want to raid these kingdoms of Estonia and such who do have the same religions and such as us as I do want to try and 
join them to our kingdom at some point, keep good relations. I think we've still got an alliance with Estonia. We did have. Um, no. Okay. We must have lost that one. I can't remember. Right, let's put ourselves in charge of this. We've also got that siege leader trait, which is going to help. And let's... Are not able to raid across sea? Oh, no. We actually don't have... No, that does make things difficult. Um, We do have these lands here, but I'm a little bit cautious because I'm guessing if we were to click on Nova, um, the Russian lands, they're going to have probably quite a lot of manpower. Yes, two and a half thousand, which isn't, isn't great, is it, to be honest? But then again, it seems to be quite split up at present for whatever reason so we'll see how it goes but we'll bring our men across we've got a thousand raiders if we can get a little bit of gold to bring back just to move things along quickly for that um for that kingdom title to be created some of our oh okay so one of our actual vassals one of our chiefs has actually gone off raiding himself which is interesting but if we can get this here we've got 20 gold here and 10 gold here that's 30 gold and we can bring it home quickly Bring it back to our lands. Try and be cautious. Now we're there. We'll slow things down. Um, okay. The dynasty is known far and wide. Our level of splendor has increased. Lovely. So that's nice to know. It's nice to know that things are improving there. So let's raid this quickly. We can get ourselves 20 gold here. We can get ourselves 10 gold here. And I may just take that 30 back. And then we can span out again. We'll take it patiently. We don't want to get too greedy. We want to make sure that we get a decent amount. Oh, there's a 15 gold here though. Which we could take advantage of. And perfect. Fire and blood. Love it. Love the Targaryen um, words there. Uh, the settlement of Nien, an important stronghold in Greater Vodi, has fallen to my raiders. We have the uh, we have run of vast tracts of land and many of the quivering subjects and shining treasures of Countess. Oh my God, something uh, to choose from. Troops stand ready, awaiting my command to give them direction. Capture skilled slaves. No, I don't want slaves. Bring me bounteous plunder. We get more gold and prestige. Yes, we'll go for that one because I want the prestige as well. So. We can carry on increasing our um, men-at-arms, our special archers that we have here, with the name that I cannot say, but I was informed by one of you guys, thank you very much for the person who did it, that th this basically means the Forest Guard, which is awesome, what an awesome name for such skilled forest archers, so at least we gained a little bit of gold there, we've also gained the gold from the raid, which is good. My ailing son, it is time to decide how to treat Opso's cancer, whilst I'm fairly certain a simple tincture would suffice, the choice is yours, my lord, be cautious. Um, well, I think you've already done drastic measures. He's already lost his cock, hasn't he, the poor sod? So, um, you may as well go for drastic measures and we'll see what we can do. And she's reduced it for five years. Perfect. Right, so we've gained a bit of gold there. Let's get this ten gold here as well while we're at it. Is there any actually important issues that we need to... There's a powerful vassal that expects a council position. Who was that again? You're decent in martial, but you're not as good as our other martial. So, unfortunately, you're not going to get that role. Just, there is a lot of gold to be had here. But I'm just so wary that if they raise their men, they will slaughter us. So if we can get the event here again for the 30 gold, we'll get a very decent amount to take back with us. It's 10 gold, 30 gold, 30 gold. So that's 60 that we'll take back. And if we can get the event, another 30, that'll be 90. It won't put us too far off what we need. And perfect, we have. We've had the event again. So yes, bring us bounteous plunder. And considering that we've just got all that prestige, let's now... Increased to size 5. So we've maxed out our forest guard now at 500 men, which is awesome. We've, that'll help us so much defending our lands if the um, Scandinavian neighbours to our left, to our west, do decide to invade. We'll do that for now. And then, depending on how much prestige we bring back with us, I may start a new um, men-at-arms. Let's have a look what we've got here. 18 gold here. 4 gold here. Is it worth the risk? We've got 15 gold over here, but that's over the river. But then we are a forder. Let's go for that 15 gold. Let, let's, let's, yeah, we'll go for this 15 gold, then we'll come back for this bit of gold, and then we'll march home. Let's see if we can get away with these two provinces. Let's have a look. So he's got 1,500 men, and he is currently at war. He's sorting out a war. Perfect. So he is a little bit busy at present, so hopefully we can get away with raiding why he is busy. We'll take back what we can, see what we can get away with. How much have we got at present? Um, 30 out of 98 gold, plus the 60 that we've gained from the events which is perfect if we can get another one that would be absolutely awesome i don't want to push my luck um long time viewers of the channel who have seen my other series know that i do this every time and i just don't seem to learn my lesson i go too far i get greedy 
I get the gold tint in my eyes and I can't help but keep going. And then I end up losing it all. Come on, let's get the other... Oh, this is a hostile army. So once this falls, we will return. And we've taken a prisoner in the siege. Perfect, right. March home straight away and hopefully he won't be able to catch us in time. Um, we can take back what we take back. Hopefully it's a prisoner that we can um, ransom at some point. But we'll see how we get along. We can always come back raiding. Come on, please don't let them catch us. March back home, please. At least we're forward so we can cross over that river and have an advantage if they do catch us. But they've got a lot more manpower than us. Yeah, they've gone to defend their home capital. Please don't catch us. Please don't catch us. Perfect. It looks like we are going to get home in time. They're going out to sea, though, which is... Yeah, perfect. We managed to get away. And we've unlocked a martial perk. Perfect. Parthian tactics. I just don't see much point in us paying out for that when we've literally got no cavalry at all we could go for the king's guard we can get more knights courtship um serve the crown or natural dread let's go for that let's try and improve our control actually over our lands as we are soon going to have a kingdom and we are getting a lot more vassals lately our spouse's skill has improved she's gained the strategist trait nice very nice i think we can actually take a new concubine i think there was one in our court Yes, you, and it's our priestess as well, which would keep her on side, hopefully. So, yeah, let's take her on as another concubine. Why not? She's still young as well, and we're getting... How old are we now? We are 36, so we're still young enough to hopefully father some more children. And we brought 45 gold home and 45 prestige. So we only need 100 gold now, which is perfect. Could go and do some more raiding. Let's have a look. Is there any of these lands here that are worth raiding? Three gold. 23 gold. Oh, nice. Okay. Yes, then. Let's march over there. We'll raid these lands here that are pretty close by. There's one there. Seven gold. Yeah, we can get ourselves a bit more gold to bring home then, so let's do that. At least we've managed to get some home safely. We've got a few champions, so let's in fight some champions, then spend some of that prestige. We've still got more prestige. You know what? Let's let's have a look at creating a new um, men-at-arms regiment. What have we, got? we could go for some more forest guard, which I really do like. Normal bowmen, but if we're going to go for bowmen, I'd rather just go for our really impressive bowmen. Could go for some armoured footmen. Light hawk. We don't actually have much cavalry. I don't I don't know if we really need it at the moment. So let's let's go for this really expensive armoured footmen, shall we? Let's get some let's get some um, better infantry. Which will come of use when we start trying to expand outside of Finland. Not sure which way to go yet, whether to go west and do Scandinavia. That's what everyone seems to do. So I think I might go east instead and take the lands that belong to our um, religion, as well as these northern lands of Sweden, of course. Norway has fallen, as we know, to uh, Denmark, or inherited. I'm not sure how they've actually took a hold of it. And a new champion has arrived at our court. Let's have a look at you then, my friend. Um, you're a flexible leader and a tough soldier. You're not too bad. You're half decent. We have lost a bit of gold there, which is unfortunate. But yeah, let's march over here. Oh, okay, so this chieftain is still... Oh, wow, they've got two and a half thousand men there. So we do need to be careful of them. But we can always march back into our northern provinces once we do siege this. You know what? There's free gold there to be had. I know it's only free gold, but we, we've always got the chance of getting the event, haven't we? So it's worth taking it on our way. Why not? We may as well before marching down onto this tribe of 23 gold. Just in case we can get that event see how we get on I just really want to get that kingdom founded and then we can go for all out war for these other two tribes we can even try and vassalize them we're a decent leader some of them might be interested in vassalizing nah unfortunately we didn't get the event but never mind let's march on to this next province and then the one next to it and then we'll just swing by up north and return home to our provinces up here Child benefits from spouse's tutelage. Perfect. Um, my son Otso is more likely to receive a good education due to this, which is great. How's he doing? Oh, God. Oh, my God. He's now dis wounded, disfigured, a eunuch with cancer. Wow, the poor bastard. He actually had a decent inheritable trait as well, which really upsets me that we miss out on that now. Oh, they are marching after us, or are they marching? No, they're, they're going the other way. That's okay. They're leaving us alone. A new champion has arrived. Let's have a look. 46. Wow, pretty old. But wow. Look at those. He's got some um, very impressive martial. He's not got much martial. But he's got some very impressive traits. Skilled tactician, aggressive attacker, open terrain expert, logistic. And he's also a witch, which is interesting. And a blade master. I will definitely recruit you to my court. Free gold. Seriously, that's all it's going to cost us. Free gold. 
definitely, definitely recruit you to our court. You are very impressive. Um, can we find you a marriage? We'll, we'll have a look into finding you a marriage at some point to some someone decent. Let's just get this raid out of the way for this 23 gold and then return that home. Let's speed things up, get the raid out of the way because I'm really worried about where the enemy army is. I know it's pretty close. How many days have we got left of this raid? Seven days. That's fine. And that army's going to attack us, which is annoying. But we do have a bonus because we've got better commanders, more army commander traits, and a higher quality. We could change our commander. He's a cautious leader. And a Ford. Hmm. Hmm. 23 prowess. Do you know what? We may... Hmm. We'll keep ourselves in charge and hopefully we can push back this host that is about to attack us. I don't want to lose the gold that we've managed to take here. As we're so close to having enough gold now. Right, let's keep an eye on this battle. Yeah, we're winning it a bit. We've got high quality. They've got decent quality. Our champion has wounded one of those. Their chieftain, perfect. And our glory is widely known after that battle. How do we do in that battle? We lost 65 men. Wow. And we literally slaughtered all of our army but five men. Wow. Very nice. Perfect. Right, let's raid this last settlement. Come on. Give us the event. I want the event. Just that 30. That'll probably give us enough gold. What was this up here? Six gold. We, hmm, we'll we we'll have a look when we get up there. Oh, but the capital is up here, which has 15 gold. Oh, nice. Oh, the gold is sparkling yet again. The greed is setting in. Should we go for it? Hmm, we'll have a look. We'll, we'll assess after this has fallen, see where their army lays. I think their army are busy pushing back this other host at present, so we could probably get away with it. And there we go, it's fallen. Yeah, let's go. Let's go for their capital. Why not? Let's be greedy. Okay, it's telling us that we should raid. We're already raiding. Let's speed things up so we can get up there. We've got quite some land to cover. And our high chief chief deaths encourages chivalry, which has gained us 75 prestige. Perfect. We've got a lot of prestige at present, which is very nice from these raids. That's why I want that event so we can get more. I want to really concentrate on our men at arms and get them in a better position. Just so that when we do create Finland. We've got a little bit more power. And a new champion has arrived. He's a misguided warrior and a flexible leader. Mm, nothing too impressive there, to be honest. He's got decent prowess at 18, but he's not as impressive as that last guy. Here we go. Let's raid the capital for a lot of gold. Oh, and we've been called to war. To the Serene High Chieftain Otso of Finland, I call you to honor our alliance and join me in the Sombian conquest of the chieftain of Anna Anavayava. Um, Let's have a look then who you are attacking. Okay, yeah, we're 400 men. Yeah, I accept. We might be able to get a bit more out of that war, get some prestige, maybe get something else, a bit of gold in the siege. Yeah, why not? We'll raid these two, return home, and then we can just continue marching our army north to help out our ally there. It's a war that we can make a massive difference in. They've only got 500 men. And it looks like he's destroyed their army in one battle. Any? Oh, no. Perfect, yes. Bring me a bounteous plunder. We get that prestige and gold, but I've just noticed that the enemy army is extremely close by we're gonna have to we're gonna have to march by them to return home very possibly very possibly we've got 50 gold on us that i want to get home let's see if we can get away with it let's see if they allow us to pass by unmolested surely they won't it'd be very silly if they did and no they've they've just let us walk by unmolested and our 45 year old concubine is pregnant nice i weren't expecting her to give us any more children but awesome um, our hook on chieftain Sakayaka has expired. Now, someone told me what this meant, Sakayaka. There was a meaning for this word. And it was cool, but I can't remember. I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> right, let's get that gold home. And we've delivered 49 gold. Wow, we need 14 more gold to create that title. We're so close now. Um, low control in a county, but I'm pretty sure that we're already, yeah, currently trying to increase control in a county. Um... Are they going to need us in this war? Probably not, but we'll we'll go help out anyway. Just in case. We might be able to get a bit of gold out of it. Or a bit of more prestige. Hopefully we can earn that gold that we need. I want to create that title before ending this episode, as I said. Uh, to the rattling High Chieftain Otso. We have been burdened with your oppressive laws for far... Oh, here we go. No more. We are done paying your taxes. Okay, never a peasant's lot is to serve their lord. Rally the troops. Hopefully it's not a big peasant... Okay, 358 men perfect um but we do need to help out in this other war just so we actually do get to share some of the spoils we can take care of that do you know what 
Let's... Can we not? Oh, we are on the move at the minute, so we can't split in half. Let's split this in half. Move um, these 400 under our other commander. Can you march down to take down the rebels? And can we call up more men here? We can actually raise some more men, but I don't think we'll have to. And that just gained men while marching through enemy territory, which is interesting. Let's march on to the capital of the land that we need to siege. Is that an enemy army here? No, it's just a hostile army, so we should be okay. And hopefully these can defeat them. They should be able to. They're only, they're only peasants. It should be an easy victory. We've got over 100 more men. And, ah, there is another rebel host. And now there's someone that's raiding us. We can take care of both of those, though. Should be pretty easy. Um, and praise Lempo. Tully has given birth to a perfect little daughter. Who will you become, my child, and what shall I call you? Let's have a look at you. You're just a child of a concubine. One stewardship. Um, a good Finnish name. Let's look for one. Lemmy, Lemmy Um, hmm. Vanamo. Vanamo. I like that. Yeah, Vanamo. Let's go for that. That's not too bad. Sounds pretty cool. And yeah, this is a very easy victory for us. And we've managed to capture a valuable hostage, which is perfect, which ends the war right here and now. Uh, but there is that other revolt that we've got to take down. Can we not go that way, please? Because I don't really want to march through that huge host. Can we ransom a prisoner? We can designate a guardian for Havu. He's... Oh, no, he's not the ill one, so that's good. Um, he's got very good stewardship. Do we have anyone with... Decent steward, not really. Our champion here, we'll, we'll send him to him for now. We really need to get ourselves some better lords. We are sieging this, which is going pretty well. Should be pretty quick. We're sieging that ourselves, so we get our siege skill there. Let's just go take down this other rebel host. And by then, we probably should have enough gold, which is perfect. We're at 244 gold now, so we're almost there. I will be bulk recording again, so... Um, yeah, if I don't answer any of your questions and such in the next episodes, that's the only reason, guys. I'm not ignoring you. It's just because I recall I'm going to record a couple of episodes in one go to last throughout the week. And can we destroy this rebel army, please? Or is it nothing actually to do with us? Can we not actually attack this rebel host? No, apparently not. Okay, it's interesting. Um, is this about to fall, at least? We're besieging. How long is left? 23 days. Perfect. So the war will be over very soon. Well, we've basically won that war for our ally. An enemy ally has now joined that war, but I don't think it's going to matter because literally, as soon as this falls, it's game over for this host. They've only got the one province. Perfect. Let's bring our men home, join them to the other host, and then we can probably try and push this enemy host out. Oh, that's actually the one we're fighting. We're 100%, so that's fine. So all we need to do now is wait for him to end the war. Perfect, and we gain 75 fame and 75 prestige from that, which is perfect. Gives us a lot of prestige to spend. Let's disband all of our armies so they can replenish. And now we literally, literally just need to wait for... Oh, I just cancelled something by complete accident. Never mind. Um, yeah, we literally just now need to wait for two gold, which shouldn't take too long at all. Your dishonor comes at a cost because I was pressing something else. That's so annoying. Um, never mind. Never mind. I don't really want to be going to war anyway, but we have got a lot of prestige to spend, which is cool. Our spy master discovers a secret. While we wait for that gold, then let's have a look. Let's um, let's improve our armored footmen. It cost us 180 prestige to do so. Let's increase up to size three for now, and then let's create a new regiment. What can we go for? I would like to get some horsemen at some point, maybe. Um, we could probably get some siege weapons. Might not be a bad or pikemen. Pikemen might not be a bad idea. I, I do definitely think I want to get some more of these forest guards, just because of how impressive they are. But we'll go for some pikemen. Um, what are they? In hills, mountains, and desert mountains. Do we really have... Well, there might be some mountains when we start marching north, maybe. Um, what's the difference between normal bowmen and our special bowmen? Our special bowmen are good in forest and tiger. And our normal bowmen oh, oh, are good in hills as well. Okay. Light footmen. Forest, tiger, and in the jungle. Um, yeah, let's go for some pikemen. Let's create some pikemen. Why not? I think I will definitely go for two hosts of the forest guard. Just as that's our like special troop. It'd be nice to have them. And then maybe for our last men at arms, actually get ourselves some light cavalry. Just so we actually have at least some horsemen. As we have literally none at all. Title can be created. Yes, the Kingdom of Finland. We just need to wait 
for that. Well, there we go. And we can create the title. You will gain 400 prestige from this. Nice. So we'll be able to get some more men at arms and create. You are now a mighty king. King Otso of Finland. Nice. And that gave us a hell of a lot of prestige. Um, I know that there's a duchy that we can create. We will do that at some point. You can vassalize Chieftain Susi. Oh, nice. We can offer him vassalage and he will actually go for it. Perfect. So that gives us a lot of land straight off the bat. Let's wait for him to accept that then. And our glory is widely known. Greetings, my charming liege. I accept your gracious offer of vassalization. Perfect. Excellent. Very nice. So now Finland is pretty much complete. There's this little bit of land here. Is this actually not part of Finland then? It might not be, to be fair. Let's have a look at the kingdom title. Oh, no, it is. All this here is a part of Finland. So we do need to take care of him and then take these lands from them. So there is a little bit of land still to be had for Finland. It's a shame that he's not going to go... Uh, he is currently at war, so that's why not. But he doesn't have a great opinion of us. Um, we have a truce with him. He's currently in a war as well. Okay, so we won't worry about that. Let's just worry about our men-at-arms for now then. And let's... Um, hmm... Should we improve our pipe men a little bit? It doesn't cost us too much, 150. Let's increase them to size 3 to match the other host. And we have a little bit of prestige left, which I think is actually just the right amount to create some more forest guard. And I do want to get a load of these forest guards. I just really like them. I think they're really cool. But yeah, perfect. We'll end this episode here then, guys. We've managed to create Finland. We've made, spent a lot of prestige today and really improved our men-at-arms and the quality of our soldiers, which is perfect, especially as we're going to start expanding out of Finland. I think there's still a lot of forest terrain and stuff around, so at least we can make the most of those. Um, we can use up the High Chief. Ah, we can actually use up that, but unfortunately we don't have enough gold for that, so we're going to have to try and get him in a different way, but that's fine. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed today's episode. If so, please don't forget to like and comment down below. Subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you all very soon for the next episode of our, well, the Kingdom of Finland now.